Here in Singapore, these latest border control measures will be kicking in a minute to midnight on Monday. For the very latest, let's discuss this with our reporter Deborah Wong right now. Deborah, tell us, what is the reason behind the government's uh, decision announced today? Well, Christine, we understand that from 2359 on Monday night, all short-term visitors entering uh, will not be able to enter or transit in Singapore. Now, previously, except for, the, uh, except for some countries, these visitors can still arrive in Singapore, provided they adhere to the 14-day stay-home notice. Uh, but this means that resources will need to be directed to serve them if they fall ill. And yesterday, there were still over 500 of these arrivals in Singapore. Now, on the front of uh, work pass holders, um, MOMs says that uh, they will still be able to uh, return, provided if they are only in industries like essential services, like transport and healthcare. And we understand that foreign domestic workers will also fall under this scope. Now, the reason for this is because um, Singapore has tracked almost 80% of new cases, uh, sorry, um, the imported cases make up uh, almost 80% of new cases over the last three days. And uh, um, Co-chair of Singapore's multi-ministry task force, Lawrence Wong, explained that you know, we need to conserve resources to serve Singaporeans, and that's why these new measures are kicking in. If you look at the number of people coming through Singapore, a large number of uh, Singaporeans and permanent residents are returning. And for the short-term visitors who are coming through, even with the 14-day self-isolation, we are still getting hundreds yesterday. We are still getting numbers in the hundreds. And I, I can understand Singapore is attractive. People would like to be here. Uh, and notwithstanding a 14-day self, uh, self-quarantine or self-isolation period, they do not mind. But for every visitor that comes through, for every work pass holder that comes through, they take up resources. They take up enforcement resources for us to enforce the 14-day self-isolation. And even if one were to fall sick, they take up medical resources. And during this time, we just have to focus our resources on the returning Singaporeans because they are coming back in large numbers. Now, as for Malaysians with Singapore work permits, they'll still be able to work in Singapore. Um, and there's a special uh, working committee with both Singaporean and Malaysian authorities uh, working together to fine-tune operational details. So we'll have more updates in the days to come. Deborah, what about those Singaporeans who might still need to or choose to travel overseas in this time? Well, we understand that there are still some travellers uh, from Singapore hoping to go overseas, perhaps for a holiday, perhaps to visit a loved one. Um, but Mr Wong did say that you know travel advisories are in place and there are talks with, within the task force to discuss how best to deal with such issues. Now, here's what he had to say. There has to be consequences, right? Because if people are still choosing to travel despite our advisory and despite full knowledge of how serious the situation is, I don't think we can um, allow such a situation to continue. So we are discussing and thinking through what additional measures will be needed. Certainly if for work pass holders, any work pass holder, uh, if they were to leave Singapore at this time, the chan the, the, the Consequence is that they may not be able to come back because we are already controlling that. Right? So any work pass holder that decides from now onwards to leave Singapore, the risk is that they may not be allowed entry later on. Well, today's update builds on measures announced on Friday where events with 250 people or more will be suspended till the uh, to 30th of June. Now, those with fewer numbers need to take precautionary measures like implementing a safe distancing of one metre precautions. Now, all public venues, injuries and attractions must also abide by the same rule. And we did take a walk at hawker centres yesterday, at attractions yesterday, and we noticed that some patrons are still not observing the rules. So when we asked Mr Wong whether any on enforcement uh, actions will be taken against establishments who do not comply. Uh, he said details will still be uh, worked out in the coming days because 
you know, the measures only kicked in on Friday, so there must be time given to these establishments to comply by the rules. Now, scene activities have also been suspended and employers have been urged to uh, get employees to stay home, uh, work from home and put in place staggered hours as well. So all these really is to prevent people from moving out and about, uh, minimise contact as much as possible.